with me. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Here we go. First right, I reckon we rained off today. So it's rained off on Monday. It's looking like rained off today. And if the app's right. And if the off. weather's right for tomorrow, it's looking like another rained off day tomorrow. So we've we done two day we'll have done two days this week. And this is where you start to see people start getting pissed off because <laughs> they ain't got no money. That's why you try and learn well in the summer. Well, yeah, I mean, me personally... Um, You've you earned your money today. So, yeah, me personally, I have my limited company and I pay myself a set wage every month. Um, so I know what I'm getting, I know what I'm getting every, every week anyway. And I know what my bills are and I know how much I have to pay out and everything like that. So, I'm all right, but a lot of people uh, who are self-employed will live week to week and this is when they really start to struggle with the bricklaying and any any construction job where you get rained off um, but I, I used to do exactly the same to be honest when I was in my younger days of bricklaying um, just get my money spunk it every week uh, do what I'd done at the weekend basically just get absolutely smashed out of my face feel like shit all week and then worry about my next week's wages I started spunking my money at the start didn't I? Yeah. you taught me to save yeah but a lot of people don't have um, people in their life that will uh, guide them how to use their money properly uh, and a lot of people don't want to hear it they just want to spunk it anyway because we are fucking pretty much uh, tricked into going part and ways with our money daily, whether it be fucking, well, everyone's out to get your money basically, isn't they? Everyone is out to get your money, your hard earned money. And if you ain't careful with it, you'll be skint all the fucking time. And that can, Boy, here, yeah, that was close. What was that? I've literally had some tools hidden under here for about a fucking week. So I've just come to get them, basically. I don't think it's raining that hard. Hard enough. <laughs> hard enough for Amy not to work in it. Yeah, I'm not working in this. Nah. I, I used to be, I used to always work in the rain. And, uh... I mean, I, I did have a gazebo, but my fucking dad broke it, and it would have actually been perfect for today's work, because we've got a little fucking um, wall to do, uh, and it's literally perfect for it, but, you know, I ain't got it anymore, so, got to pop into town, fucking, the tax man owed me money for a change, <laughs> so we're going to go and put that check in. So technically, you've earned your money today. Yeah. yeah. And uh because I'll because I'm a good girl, I've earned my money today too. <laughs> Holiday pay. Holiday pay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, why not? Uh so yeah, I ain't looking like we're working today. Um so basically if you're young and looking to get into this game, uh remember you live in England. You need to learn <laughs> You need to learn to be good with your money, especially if you want to um, move out and do what most people do, get mortgages and fucking cars on finance and phones on finance. Um, you look like a ghost. I look like a ghost. Where it's like dark because of the rain and you're just wearing black. I can only see your hands and your head. That's what it looks like on here anyway. <laughs> But no, you need to you need to learn to look after your money. Um, you need to learn to not be um, 
sucked into consumerism. Best thing you taught me was that. Yeah, literally, there's always something you need to buy. There's always something you want. Um, you drill, they drill it into you fucking on uh, adverts, day in, day out. For everywhere you look, buy this, buy this, buy that, buy this, fucking. Buy one, you get the second half price. <laughs> yeah, and before you know it, you're fucking skint every week. But, yeah, if you're looking to get into this game and you can't put yourself a couple of grand away for over the winter periods, then you're going to struggle massively. Um, yeah. Have a nice day. We're going to just chill out and we pop yeah. into town. Put me check in. Yeah. I'll sort of check that one. And, uh, Eat healthy for the day. Eat healthy for the day. I'll tell you what, yesterday, um, I got back, being all fucking mopey and fucking droney, and Amy just made me have a fucking juice, like, uh, what was it? Like a watermelon fucking... Watermelon, pineapple and orange. Watermelon. And instantly, as soon as I drank it, I was fucking, whoa, whoa, let's go do something. Let's go to the shop. No, that was after the second one I had, wasn't it? Well, then you fell asleep after the first one, and you woke up, and I made you another one straight away. Yeah. And then he finally took me to Aldi that I've been asking to go to since yeah. Monday. I know, yeah. And then literally had a good night's sleep, woke up this morning, and felt fine. Had a smoothie this morning. Because I noticed. Got a smoothie in there. Yeah, I noticed. Um, Without well. me, he just is a mopey bastard, that's it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah we've got. Oh, it's separated a bit. Green smoothie there, look. That is That a, is, what's in that one? Uh, green apple, yeah. kale, and cucumber. And this is my favorite. Po uh, not pomegranate, grapefruit and watermelon. And then we've got a little bit of fruit as well, just in yeah. case. Honestly, if you don't have yourself a juicer or a smoothie maker, um, fucking get one. Honestly, the, the difference you feel the more, how more energetic you feel because they reckon that our bodies should be living on at least 80% live food and live food ain't fucking a bit of meat that's been fucking cooked to death it means um, untouched raw food and like uh, a uh, juicer is a good way of getting like your greens and that in the in the other you don't like because it just literally extracts all the juice and all the raw nutrition and puts it into a drink now i can have kale all sorts of shit in these um juices and they taste nice uh, and you get all the raw uncooked nutrients because even when you cook vegetables and that it's just not as good so you know get yourself well, a juicer or a is, smoothie maker my hand is aching so girl look fucking wrapped up from fucking winter look huh <laughs> i've got my thermals on because i knew how cold it was yesterday you know me jumper thermals yeah right oh hang on hold that oh got my new hoodie it's very smart. And I made a new t-shirt. Uh, I made this one. What do you reckon? A bit cheesy? Hold on, wait. Ain't you built that yet? Ain't you built that yet? <laughs> Someone else made me one as well. It's, it's at home. But this one's one of them ones where you can just, uh, just order underneath the bar on my YouTube channel, but I haven't set it up yet. So... Yeah, if these hoodies and these t-shirts will be up there. Huh? If they're interested, let us know. Yeah. I haven't s sorted it out properly yet. Well, I'm going to get my tools and fucking fill my van up. What about that one? Oh. Well, what are you doing now? Huh? Hey? Yeah, you doing now? Oh, mate. Yeah, you're doing now. Hey, it's not it's raining. Bricks, uh, let's have a little tidy up, mate. Yeah. It stopped raining, didn't it? It stopped raining, yeah. And now it's coming through again. No, this ain't rain. It's coming through, I said. Oh shit, this is not a nice place to work. I don't know what's the best angle to get at you. Uh, I'm coming around that way. Which way? Yeah, what, are you talking about walking around all this? Yeah. Yeah, it's pissing me right off yesterday.
time. There's a lot of tidying up these do, mate. It's still that mess around there, look. Yeah, keep on top of it. We've got no kids here, but I think we've got some horses left to go. Are you doing this all free, Hat? Oh, I didn't see the line there. Huh? I didn't see the line. Oh, different trail? Uh, yeah, just fancy to change. That's your big one, isn't it? Yeah. Oh no, 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 that's getting heavy. Here comes Moan and Amy. <laughs> huh? They've took my, they brought over, they took my water cube, yeah. brought over a different one completely, and now both it, mine's gone completely. So, can you get, uh, have we got a walkie talkie? Yeah. Get, get hold of John and ask him where my water cube is. Because it's actually my water cube. Old bricks need stacking up, Tom. I've got nowhere near enough bricks here, mate.
sweating me fucking tits off in this. They're getting a bit drier. Yeah, I'm halfway through the pack now in the middle. Oh <laughs> yeah. I tell, mate, honestly, the amount of bricks that get thrown away this time of year, it's painful, mate. I'm not opening the whole pack in case it does like this, done. I'm telling you, right, because they don't like um, build like shelters and that for the bricks to be stored in, no wonder there's a shortage of bricks. The amount of bricks that brickies have to throw away, honestly, we used to go through half, and then you get, what you, all you get was, oh, we'll just load them out and let them dry out. <laughs> And it takes about a week, two weeks, and if it's raining all day, every day, they never fucking dry out. And then people get fed up with fucking, um, wait, trying to use dry bricks and just use the fucking wet ones. And then it causes bad um, jointing. And then all you get is, oh, that brick now is rough as fuck. But they're just trying to make a wage with the shit materials they've been given, do you know what I mean? Where are them three bricks are? What's that? Right, where them three bricks are, that's where you're setting them up. What's where, that? Where them three bricks nah, there's a, uh, there's a thing on the floor. There's a little pin on the floor. This was, um, my first boss's technique, this was. He had a 12 inch trowel and he'd lay enough. He'd do one, one um, spread's worth, which was usually three to four bricks, depending on the height he was at. Which always worked well because I, ne I never found uh, I never found that laying a really long bed out, depending on what brick the bricks were like. Depends what sort of technique you should use, but I do like this technique. Old boss is saying was uh, there's more than one way to skin a cat boy. There's more than one fucking way to skin a cat boy. Proper miserable old cunt. <laughs> Proper boss.
we're rolling out of here. I don't know about rolling, we're rolling out of here. Uh, I just finished that wall off, had a quick tidy up, and I made a decision that it's time to move on from that site. Um, I made a phone call to Sean. He did ask me to wait around, but I've done enough waiting around today. Uh, it's not a, it's not a site to make money on. I mean, I'm sure a lot of you have seen uh, the builds and that, and the bricks aren't very nice looking. And uh, it's just, when you've been on when you've been on enough seven. sites to know what's a site that you can make money on one, one that ain't, you know. But uh, the only reason I stayed there for a bit was just for a bit of a change of. Uh, <coughs> content but even I can't stand fucking uh, you know I weren't really making any money on there if I'm honest um, so yeah just got me tools <laughs> finished up the last wall that I was doing um, Harry all morning was supposed to be loading out a garage but he couldn't um, I literally Harry was just a dead weight this, like for half a day really. I mean, he chucked a couple of profiles up for me and loaded out 200 bricks. Um, but he was backwards and forwards, trying to sort this out, then trying to sort that out, and then this weren't that, and that weren't this. Um, we was gonna start the next wall. We had no tubs. We had a full tub of this, and we had to get rid of that sort of muck to get this top. Oh, it's just one thing after another. So, <laughs> I give uh, Sean, the contracts manager, a ring and just said, look mate, uh, this site ain't for me. Um, have you got anywhere else you can put me? And it's just started pissing it down. And it's just started right, pissing it down, look. So, uh, <coughs> he said he'd come and see me on site, but I ain't waiting around. So, I ain't starting anything else. I'm just gonna cut it for a minute. I've got a really tickly throat. I've got I'm a coughing fit. What we got? Oh, yeah. That looks well good, doesn't it? I didn't even add water to it this time. This is all the chicken juices. Oh, lovely, look at that. How do you know if the chicken's done? Oh, that's falling off the bone. Uh, well, if you can drag it off with a spoon, then I'm pretty sure that that chicken is done. You want a bowl? Oh, I'd love a bowl. Potatoes are a little bit hard, don't have to do That's right, I don't mind a bit hard. Usually we, uh, obviously we just juice all day and smoothie all day and fruit all day, but we're home early now, so. Fuck okay, it, let's have a little bit of chicken. Oh, look at that, look. lovely, look at that. Oh, look at that girl gone. Was it, um, honey chicken? Yeah, but I didn't put a lot of honey in it. No. I put a lot of spices. Did you? And I'll put banging. some vegetables, uh, chicken stock. How many bits of chicken is there? One, two, three, four left. Do you want four one? left. Yeah. Uh, nah, we'll nah, save nah, some nah, for we'll later. We'll save some for later. So we're going to pop to the gym. <laughs> well, I had a little nap. <laughs> uh, I sorted out some work. We've got some um, nice little uh, buff houses um, that have just been sitting there waiting for someone to start. I had a little look at them, uh, and they don't look too bad. So um, it's not the builds that are important when you're on price. Um, I mean, you could be getting the most ridiculous prices in the world. You could be getting the best prices in the world. If you don't know when a site's a price work worthy or not, uh, then you'll struggle to make money. Uh, so much work out there. Um, it was getting to the point where it was pissing me off. So, um, it was time to go. But, um, yeah, I've, I've, I've spoke to the contracts manager um, and said, I'm going to have tomorrow off um, and I'll start Monday because... Because I, I, cause I went out last weekend, I um, didn't have my little girl. And I have my little girl like every single weekend. So I've been missing her a little bit. <laughs> so I'm going to um, have tomorrow off and have a long weekend. Have a nice, relaxing, chill weekend with my daughter. 
and Amy and get on with it Monday. So I hope you all have a good weekend. Um, and we'll go again Monday. <laughs>